Good day viewers, thank you for watching my vlog. Please subscribe to my channel and support by not skipping the advertisement. Today's travel vlog destination, we are going to the St. Jerome Emiliani and St. Susana Parish at Alabang Town Center, Ayala Alabang, Muntinlupa, Metro Manila. St. Jerome Emiliani and St. Susana Parish of the Roman Catholic Diocese of Paranaque was established on 1982. It is located in New Alabang Village, City of Muntinlupa.
a parish rises out of the ruins. In 1981, Mrs. Josephine Madrigal Bayot offered the Somascan fathers to homes inside the new Alabang village as Ayala Alabang village was then known for their temporary use. The Madrigals also had an old family chapel dedicated to Santa Susana in their vast mango orchard. With the cooperation of Mr. Enrique Sobel and Mr. Adolfo Duarte, Ayala Corporation tore down the Madrigal Chapel and built a new church, which became the seat of the street, Jerome and Santa Susana Parish. On February 4, 1983, Jaime Cardinal Sin blessed the street, Jerome Emiliani and Santa Susana Parish and installed Rep. Fr. Cesare de Santos, C. Hers, as the first parish priest, who was assisted by Rep. Giovanni Tarditi and Rep. Valerio Fanolio. Thus was established the first Somascan parochial church in Far East Asia. The parish, at that time, included the following areas, New Alabang Village, the areas west of the South Expressway, area south of the Alabang Zapote Road, namely, Stock Farm, Madrigal Hills, Madrigal Estate, and the Serum Vaccine Laboratory, SBL. The disparity among the residents of the three areas was blurring, so the fathers tried to find a way of bringing them together through the Holy Bible. Efforts were made to purchase thousands of copies of the Bible in English and Tagalog. Sunday classes were organized for children, youth, and adults, catechists themselves, while preparing for their lessons, became acquainted with scriptural passages, people became familiar with the songs when they had to recite the louds before each morning mass. This movement to get people closer to the Bible and to each other reached its high point during the Bible celebration in the parish on August 25 hanggang 27, 1989, when conferences were organized on the theme Our Journey of Faith in Union with the Disciples of Emmaus. The parochial library was enriched with patristic books, famous modern writers on the Bible, and with apat na raang volumes of the sources Chetienas, a prestigious collection of the writings of the Fathers of the Church. To supplement the spiritual benefits brought by the Bible, the Fathers gave immediate attention to the material needs of the less fortunate sector of the parish. The parish office became an employment office. Many families found jobs within Ayala, Alabang Village and even abroad. Environmental conditions in Sitio Masagana were improved when the parish initiated moves for the paving of the Sitio's main roads, for a regular collection of garbage, and for obtaining a collection with the water system of the village. Potable water became available to every family through underground pipe system and fountains. Thus, intestinal diseases diminished radically, according to local doctors. In 1990, the rectory, the parish offices, the living quarters, and the street, Jerome Hall in the basement were built. After the blessing by the Most Reverend Gabriel Reyes, the fathers moved from the temporary Apitung home provided by the Madrigal family. In 1991, canopies were added to the three entrances of the church. In 1993, the crypt was dug out to accommodate 130 tombs and dalawanda ang niches. At present, the street, Jerome Parish is composed of the following areas, Tierra Nueva, El Cigaquis Village, San Jose Subdivision, Puruk Labintadlo, Merrill Lap, New Haven Institutions, Street, Jerome Village also known as Police or Philinvest Socialized Housing, where the residents of Alabang Stock Farm were relocated and Sitio Masagana. From that little church in the middle of nowhere some 20 years ago, Street Jerome Church has become the center of the spiritual life of many residents, of countless passers-by, and of regular office workers. This beautiful church is becoming too small for the growing community of Alabang. It would be a dream come true if someday we were able to expand it. Hello guys, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you click down below, or subscribe to the button, or hit the notification bell, or leave me a comment. Thank you, see you next on my blog.